Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Australia and six airplanes that have uh, caused some waves on the international scene. Um, and we are going to answer three different questions from three different Australians dealing with these airplanes. Um, and it's entertaining in a way because in the United States, this really hasn't gotten any coverage at all because we're the U.S. and we're just used to this type of stuff. Um, but there are some concerns, so we'll kind of go through it. Um, okay, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the United States is planning on deploying six B-52s to Australia. They'll, they'll be stationed there. They will have an operation center and all the facilities they need to run there. If you watched the video talking about the NATO exercise, you already know what I'm about to say, but for those that didn't, um, B-52s are part of the U.S. strategic arsenal, the U.S. nuclear arsenal. These aircraft will be nuclear capable. Doesn't mean they're gonna have nukes on them, um, but they would be capable of delivering them if the need arose. Okay, so the first question, and definitely the most pressing, does this mean war is imminent? No, no. Um, this is actually a move for deterrence, to, to change China's thinking when it comes to challenging Australian interests in the region and probably playing into a future Taiwan conflict. Uh, the most immediate projections I have seen as far as China making a move on Taiwan, that's still a couple of years away. So war is definitely not imminent. Why should Australia pay for this? That's the cool part, you're not. Um, the United States, I wanna say it's like a billion dollars that the U.S. has devoted to upgrading Australian defense capabilities. Um, and a big chunk of that was developing the infrastructure for these aircraft. Uh, as far as I know, there isn't a financial commitment from Australia on this. Now, there may be minor things like fencing or something like that, but my understanding is that the U.S. is footing the bill for all of this. Um, doesn't this make us a target for being a perceived U.S. ally? Um, no, but also yes. Um, the six aircraft, that doesn't change the math. But China definitely looks at Australia as a perceived U.S. ally because it is. Um, Australia is one of the most steadfast allies the United States has. Um, but again, the idea behind this is mad. It's mutually assured destruction. It's deterrence. It's putting the capability there in a way for the United States to say, yeah, you, you, you're, you're a near peer and everything, but Australia has been with us for a hundred years. Um, you know, in the United States, people tend to forget when they talk about, you know, the greatest allies the U.S. has, Australia gets overlooked because they're kind of the, like the quiet guy in the back of the bar, always has your back, but never runs their mouth. Um, that's Australia as far as the, the defense side of things goes. And just as a real quick rundown, Afghanistan, Australia was there. Iraq and Syria against IS, Australia was there. 2003 Iraq, Australia was there. The first time in Iraq, Australia was there. Somalia, Australia was there. Vietnam, Korea, World War II, Th this just goes back. There are not many military alliances in, in the world that are as reliable as, as that. Um, 
So Chinese war planners are very aware of this fact. They know that if they plan to fight Australia, they have to plan to fight the United States. And if they plan to fight the United States, they have to plan to fight Australia. So the presence of these six aircraft, that's not going to change the math. It, it was that way before, and it will be that way once they arrive. Um, China is going to be upset by it because introducing that kind of strategic capability, it, it provides a deterrence and it provides a counterweight to the Chinese nuclear power that exists. Australia is not a nuclear power. However, as we discussed in that video about the NATO exercise, the United States has protocols for delivering nuclear weapons to countries that are not nuclear powers if the need arises. And after a hundred years of having each other's backs, I'm fairly certain that Australia would be a country the U.S. would provide them to. The presence of these planes is kind of symbolic of that. And it also, I mean, it's six B-52s. That can't be underestimated. Um, that would be a, a pretty strong deterrent um, when it comes to China and any designs they may have on interfering with Australian interests. Um, it's the international poker game where everybody's cheating. And this is the United States sliding a couple wild cards to Australia. Don't know if you need them, but if you do, they're there type of thing. Um, so... To my knowledge, Australia isn't paying for it. This definitely doesn't mean that war is imminent. And the Chinese war planners would have targeted Australia with or without this, um, just due to, to history. So those, those are the questions. And for Americans, understand a whole lot of countries... <laughs> They're not exactly comfortable with having strategic weapons in, in their country. Um, that's not something, you know, in the U.S., we're, we're very used to that. We're a nuclear power. We're, we're very comfortable with this. Not all countries look favorably on it. Um, and while these planes will probably not be equipped with nukes, they're very capable of it. And that's, uh, that might be alarming to a lot of people. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.